we live uh, very close to our road and I decided to put down a tree hedge like this and you see this branch here the reason it looks like this uh, you see there are some sprouts coming out here but the reason it looks like this is because about two years ago I didn't know so much about two years so I had a lot of uh, sprouting thing is like the ones you see here it looks like black and it looks destroyed like it's dead but you know those things are not actually dead look here they look gray and they're really really hard these are actually not dead parts of the trees see these are sprouts protected by bark if you remove them, you end up with a tree that is unable to grow for a couple of years. If you don't remove them, they turn out into like this. See, this is a tree I totally left alone. And you can totally see the difference when you leave a tree alone and when you don't, it looks like this. Here is a tree that I cut almost down to the stubs because I thought it was dead. It looks nice now, but it needs to create new branches to be able to grow again. So my point here is, you see these? It's really uh, bright green and fresh. That's new sprouts coming out. Here as well. This one's been growing since last year. This one is coming out now, nice sprouts at the top. You can sometimes see that you get sprouts like this, partially. And here is another one. So do not kill these. Do not kill those sprouts because they will make the tuya grow. Here, really good example. If you look on the inside, it looks like brown and dead. This is a totally fresh sprout. And this black coating here, or a brown coating, would be removed in time, like this. Totally fresh sprout that hasn't gone green yet. It looks ugly when it's growing, but look. You see this? It's actually healthy, but it's just re-sprouting at the top. This one, as I showed you before, it looks dead, but I just leave it as it is, because you see here. These might come out next year. Or maybe this year, I'm not sure yet, but here you see one I have left alone. See? Nice sprouts coming out here. See? These are all sprouts. The thing with Tuya Smarag is that if you if you cut it it grows in the in the width not the height and if you want the, the, the general idea with two years more like this you should never cut it in the height unless you actually uh, want to stop the growing in the height here is this year actually you see here i forgot that these were actually sprouts so i tried to remove a few but even though you can still see that is coming out with new sprouts here. It looks pretty nice. And here you see the branches coming out. New black sprouts, which turns into... So, these will turn into these, eventually. So whatever you do, don't destroy these because it will uh, delay the growing of your Toyo Smarag hedge. See? It looks ugly in the beginning, but it is not ugly once it uh, is just left alone a bit. This is a really good example of where it's growing. See? It's just barely sprouting out, so it's light in color and it's dry. It feels dry, but that's just because it's compact. 
So if you see this kind of stuff on your to your smart rug, do not remove it. Just leave it there and give it plenty of water. And if you can, give it also some uh, horse manure or uh, cow manure soil. It's like it's almost like dirt, but it's just uh, composted soil. Again, it's not dead. It's growing. See. And the reason I put this so close, if anyone wonders, is because I want a nice hedge that's really close because, as you can see, we are really close to the road here, so we get a lot of noise. So the, the hope is that we'll have a hedge that is maybe this tall, this tall and will uh, sh shoulder... Uh, shit, what's the English word? Screen us from the noise a little bit. Thank you for watching.